What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going down to English Town. We're gonna hang out with the guys from Gas Factory and get sideways. The plan is a couple people have their cars done, but not everyone. A bunch of us are going, probably like six or seven of us. And we're just gonna drift. Currently I'm at Alex's house. He does have a fully built 1J uh, 240 drift car, but right now it's down for the count. So he's gonna drift his daily. So uh, we'll see what he's doing outside right now, trying to fit tires in a uh, 350Z. So we'll see how that goes. You think this is gonna work? Yeah, it can't go anywhere. Like it's wrapped around the stroke tower brace. Not going anywhere. <laughs> this is why everyone needs a daily drifter. This is these these best. It's your tow vehicle. It's your support vehicle. It's your daily driver. It's good on gas. They're cheap as all hell. Cheaper than a Corolla nowadays, and it's a lot more fun. Real serious question for you. What's that? You letting me drift it today? I'm bleeding. And you're worried about that? Huh? Yes. Probably. Yeah, I guess so. Why not? Guess I'm drifting again today. So I have learned that it is possible to drift a 450 because I've watched it happen. It's possible. If you don't believe me, Ken Block did it, so anything is possible. So if you watched my video from probably like five weeks ago, uh, Chris from English Town, Alex, Ricky, all of them helped teach me to drift. So I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit, but I'm just nervous to drift his Z because it's also one of his dailies. And I don't want to make anything, uh, you know, break. So, I mean, he has a truck for a daily too, but. And the technically the Z, it's, it's my car, it's not his, it's mine. So, uh, comment down below if you think Alex should let me build the Z into my own drift car, because I think it's a great idea. And he said I could do it, so, comment down below. A few moments later. So, we made it to the shop, we didn't die. So that's a plus. Gonna switch some stuff out and uh, head to E-Town. Why are you so much taller than me? Because I'm a dude. So, for those who don't know, this is my boyfriend Alex. Hi. This is his shop. Well, it's actually Matt's shop. Well, it's Matt's shop, it's their <laughs> shop. Kind of tell everyone a little bit about yourself, who you are, what you do. Um, well, I guess I drift, I do rally, do some car stuff, obviously, if you can see in the background. Um, live in Northern Jersey, go to Club Loose. I work at a racetrack called Monticello Motor Club. And uh, I don't know what else to say. I teach people how to race cars. I teach her how to race cars a little bit, try to. A little bit. You make her a little better. But otherwise, that's Anything that has wheels, he's good at it. Oh so. yeah, grew up racing dirt bikes, got into road racing, got into rally, then into drifting. Now I teach road racing, teach drifting, teach rally. Compete in it all. He's a skilled man, let me tell you. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> oh, you very welcome. much. I'm alright. You okay? So, I have a question. Very serious question. What's your very serious question? What happens if you uh, break and it's uh, your daily? Um, then we're gonna drive my truck to work. Yeah, now are you uh, gonna get home? How are we gonna get home? Probably Matt. I think Matt's gonna come down, so we'll just get in his truck and we'll leave this down there. So, are you saying we might break? I don't think we're gonna break anything. You're gonna give us bad juju. <laughs> I, don't think, I mean, it's just what's more reliable than a stock 350Z? Yeah, you make a good point. We might break an axle, but Steve has a bunch of them at his shop, so we can just throw another one in and drive home. Oh, fucking then. We even got diffs for 350Z. We got a whole 350Z at Steve's shop. You Perks of having car friends, huh? Yeah, see? We got people in the right places. <laughs> These severely needed to be uh, changed? Yeah. Like bad? Like miles on well, that's what happens when you drift everywhere you go when you have a daily like this. Wish it was a little cleaner. She's a little dirty. Yeah, she's pretty I dirty. Every two days. So of course, change the wheels and tires. We are going to head to South Jersey. I think we're probably going to the Twins shop, which is right next to Eng English Town. Twins meaning Steve, Matt, Nisco. They've been featured in some videos here and there, I think. And uh, we're gonna go there, get some stuff done, meet up with everyone. I don't actually know who's driving. I know Ricky isn't, unless he comes after, because he has work until like four. But Steve and Matt, the twins are driving. I think Chris Knapp is driving. I'm gonna drive, and yeah, it is gonna be a good time. 
the first day that I met Alex was at English Town. Didn't really know who he was, saw him pull up, park the Z, whatever. And I was with Ricky and I was complaining to Ricky I was really hungry. And Alex was like, here, have my keys, just take my car. Didn't even know who this guy was, he didn't know who I was. And I'm like, are, are you sure? He's like, well, you know Stick, right? And I'm like, yeah. So he let me take the Z. Um, but that's a little story of how I met Alex. So, where to now? Shop? Um, I guess probably Steve's. Maybe the track, depending on how quick they get their stuff. Oh, well, we gotta align Steve's car. I don't think they wanna do that at Steve's or at the track. Yeah, so we'll probably do that at the shop and then head to the track. And I was trying oh, to figure what out. We need, what do we, we need the helmet. helmet. Yeah, go, go in and grab it. Okay. So I wasn't able to see earlier. I put my glasses on. But we are at Steven Mac's shop right now. They are working on doing the front alignment for Steve's car. And Steve's already said, what the fuck, this isn't working about five times. So we'll see what happens. He's saying he's not gonna drive, he's gonna drive. They're also both convinced that they're gonna break stuff. So I guess we'll see how this goes. How are you doing under there, Buttercup? I hate this. I just wanna drive. What's going on? I'm trying to do my eyeball alignment. And my eyeballs were a little off. <laughs> Eyeballs are off. Your, your back's off. Your life's <laughs> off. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up? Drifting today? Hopefully. What do you got? Tell us. That was three power You gonna break? Yeah. You gonna break? Yes. Good. Axles or my diff? One of them's gone. All right, take a vote, guys. Let's see what happens. for all of you. Was not my fault. I was gonna leave. Oh, no. I was gonna, like sharing. 20 minutes ago, I was gonna leave and then I got like distracted on TikTok, so. Yeah, that'll do that. Time to thick and send it. bunch of nothing. Finally gonna send it. Or at least try. <laughs> Good luck. 
Oh my god, I feel like I'm, my knees are on your steering wheel. <laughs> Have fun. Don't yeah, die. Right. Or try. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> That was pretty much it. I did drive a little bit, but we didn't get footage just because I'm still learning. Ah! You good, bro? Oh, uh, you're recording? Yeah. All I hear is my big booty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I got to drive a little bit, but Alex was just like helping teach me, so we didn't really have time to like record it while he was teaching me. And now we're all gonna get ice cream, maybe go for a swim in the pool. Anyone's car actually break? Like brake brake? No, right? Um, I mean, just the splines on my steering shaft are uh, spinning on their own will. Uh, you know, that's my fault because I don't have a bolt in it. So it's not really broken, but just worn. Your brother's car is good though, right? Uh, yeah, he's just leaking a lot of power steering fluid. So if he wanted to leave because we were on the track, he's like, dude, I'm leaking so much power steering fluid. He just drove straight home. I didn't even see him leave. Yeah. I can still smell him. <laughs> So yeah, that was pretty much that. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, you know. Check out Gas Factory, check out the guys, you know. Steve You know, Steve Misko. You know, plug, plug, plug. Okay, goodbye.